Uh, my name is Jim Griffin. Uh, I've lived in the city of El Cajon since uh, actually December of 1972. Um, I worked for the city of El Cajon um, until December of 2007. Uh, for the last 15 years of that, I was the director of community development. The idea early on was to try to reconstruct downtown as a walkable area where people could um, go store to store even though it's outdoors, maybe not quite as pleasant, especially in the summer when El Cajon gets pretty warm. I mean, you can get over 100 degrees here on some days. Um, but maybe provide the covered walkways like the arcades uh, or construct new walkways for people to uh, get out of the heat. But I was fortunate to not only participate from a professional standpoint, but also then to participate in a lot of the activities. Uh, my wife and I have contributed financially to the concerts on the green and for the, the 10 years that the concerts, maybe it's 12 now, have been active in downtown El Cajon. Uh, we've attended probably three quarters, at least three quarters of each year's concerts. I mean, it's just a wonderful opportunity and I, they're getting bigger and bigger. When we first started going, there might be 100 or 200 people there. Now, I think last year there were several where there were like 12 to 1,500 or more people. And that's a, a, been a long held planning a desire is to have mixed use development where you could have uh, transit type um, for, tr for transportation, have buses or we have the trolley, but to get people out of their cars, people could walk, ride bikes, those kinds of things. And so that's, I think, um, still a big part of downtown El Cajon's desire is to try to have development that will have people living here instead of just visiting here, instead of just working here. And I think that, in my opinion, um, it would be the secret, the final uh, component of a successful downtown. 